this. Yep, that's amazing. Thank you, Coach Mills, for being with us. Thank you, Bush, for this uh, press conference. Uh, Coach, what a rally. You lost, but what a rally to try to come back, and finally you came up short. Um, did you regret the way you start the, f the first quarter? Yeah, definitely. Um, that's the difference in this game. Uh, I truly believe that we, were, we put ourselves in a great position to win in those second, third, and fourth quarters, but you can't start a basketball game 10-0 and then fight back. There's a lot of talent on that South Sudanese team. They're really well coached. And I think uh, we kind of dug ourselves a hole, which we've kind of done in a couple of games. And it's a great learning opportunity for us heading into the World Cup qualifiers, uh, working on the start of our game, getting ready to go from the tip off. Bush, I heard before this game, there's a, a very big, very tough rivalry between the two teams. Um, was it that fact? Uh, what, what was your mindset before entering the game? Uh, coming into the game, we knew this is a crucial game for us. Uh, we need to win so that we can get into the quarterfinals. Uh, they trying to make history. We trying to make history. We have history between us as, uh, as teams. We played each other before, and um, it uh, everybody was hyped up. Everybody was ready, but um, they came out and gave uh, the first punch and uh, give them credit. They uh, they did their job, and uh, as the coach said, that was the difference of the game. Um, we we put our fighting foot forward and we try to fight back in the game, but. Um, we just came up a little bit short, but um, we keep our heads up and uh, look at it as a learning experience. You know, uh, we have uh, the World Cup qualifiers coming up, so we get right back to work and uh, try to see how uh, that gonna go. Jeff, uh, Liz, this is a tough pill to swallow losing a game like this. That one team was gonna feel it. Yep. Uh, you know, from a neutral perspective for the fans, it was incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, could you talk about? You know, you looked dead and buried from the outside. Yep. Can you talk about, I guess, maybe that Kenyan spirit mm -hmm. the, that, you know, how, has it always been like this, uh, the way that you were able to rally and, and push it to the end? Oh, look, no one works harder than our team. Okay, sometimes we can't execute, but w we will never not come with effort. And that's what Kenyan basketball is all about. People can say, hey, we're not the most talented, we can't do this, we can't do that. But I guarantee out of 16 teams here, no one will outwork us. And that's Kenyan spirit, 100%. Liz, uh, what a journey for, for this group and, um, and just some incredible plays. Again, Adero was really quiet in the first half. And then is it something you said to him or is it just something he, he just maybe spoke to himself and said, I've got to deliver now because he just took off with the dunk, especially in the two threes. I think he was carrying a lot of weight in that first uh, half. He felt like he had to do a little bit too much. But I, when I said, just play a little bit more free, pass, cut, instead of just concentrating on scoring. And then he's playing, he's not focused on that and stressing about trying to get his points. So, and I think, you know, Bush coming to the party in this game was huge for us. Um, Jose in that second half, everyone contributed, everybody who came in, uh, especially in that second half, we were laser focused. Um, we were just really unlucky to come up short. So a couple of calls maybe go our way. Yeah, we won't talk about that though. Um, and you know, this should have been ours. Yeah, it was a tough out of bounds situation that could have, might Easily. have been able to go your way, but, yeah. but Bush, um, you know, talk about where this Kenya program is right now compared to where it was when you started playing. And uh, I know that everybody's been talking about Liz being the first woman to, you know, coach a national team at the, con at the Continental Championships. Can you talk about what, you know, how Kenya differs now from where it was, and I suppose how her role has been, or what her role has been? Um, we started this journey um, way back. We had not qualified for over 28 years, and, um, we started this journey way back in 2018 uh, with the Afro-Can, preparing for Afro-Can and then uh, coming into the qualifiers for the Afro-Basket and everything. Um, so we had our hiccups along the way uh, in the past like 10 years, but then uh, once we came together and we decided like, okay, let's uh, show the world that Kenya has basketball, not just runners, you know? 
So we decided, like, okay, we have to come together and show the, ta the kind of talent that we have and bring the fighting spirit and uh, the resilience that, uh, to show how Kenyans can really fight and uh, go through adversity. And um, so the missing piece, at least um, technically, like, um, I will give credit, a lot of credit to uh, Coach Lees, the way she transformed our team into a, into a more mental game rather than just being physical, you know, like, um, uh, with video scouting and uh, you know say a lot a lot of film you know so that that has really helped us our team and uh, you know just to to be able to know our personnel and um, and uh, think different when you w walk into the game not just you know say just hard work but uh, also to be able to w uh, work smarter. Michel in the back. <coughs> uh, so coach and Bush. No time to rest qualifiers again in November for World Cup. Maybe you can just talk about the draw. Look, we're really excited about the World Cup. Our vision was always 2023, and AfroBasket was merely the first step in that journey for us. I think we've learned a lot of valuable lessons, um, and we're really excited with the pieces that were missing during AfroBasket to join us for the World Cup qualifiers. Um, not to, give, uh, to take away credit from the 12 that came through here, they were amazing, they stepped up, they played out of their skin. Um, and we're looking forward to you know, carrying a lot of this team onto the World Cup. Uh, we've got Congo, Egypt, and Senegal again. We're really excited about that matchup. Um, and we're looking to get into the second round and put ourselves in position to be top five. I think we've proven at Afro Basket that we're a team that no one wants to play. We're an X-Factor team. Um, and I'm sure those three teams looked at the draw and said, uh, why Kenya? Um, for us, uh, this was a great learning experience. Uh, I think the, the, the biggest thing that we, uh, with our hard work and our resilience and everything, uh, the thing that we lacked the most was experience, mm -hmm. the Afro basket and the continental experience. Uh, now that we came into the tournament and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very confident uh, moving forward into the, the future and uh, as we prepare, now we know the, the, uh, the demographics of the whole tournaments and the continental tournaments. So I think that will really help our team and help uh, even the, our younger players. And um, I'm also excited uh, for the, our players that were not able to join us, for them to be able to join us for the World Cup qualifiers. So um, we look forward to the preparation. So we're not going back to sleep. We, uh, we really, really want to qualify for this uh, World Cup. So That's the goal. let's go to work. I'm just going to try to make you keep your smile. Because, <laughs> yes, we are more relaxed. You are not uh, the first ever female coach in AfroBasket, but in all FIBA competition. Mm -hmm. For that, congratulations, Thank and you. all the best for the future. Thank you. Uh, I also want to give credit to Kenyan Basketball Federation for being the first federation in the world to hire a female head coach. It took courage, it took bravery, and hopefully we see more federations do this. They need to hire coaches based on skills, qualifications, and experience, with gender playing no role. So credit to these guys for having me as their head coach and KBF. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you.